there, and welcome to The Rich Solution on SUNY Radio. Hi, I'm Gwen Rich, your host, health advocate, and founder of The Rich Solution. So here on SUNY Radio, I talk about empowered health, what each one of you can do starting today, yes, today. And we want to help you to look and feel better, to live a healthier and happier, disease-free lifestyle. So today's topic is food, spices, oils, and the canine comfy for your BFF. So before we go on to this great episode today and introduce two special guests, I want to put the disclaimer out there that the information on this show is presented for educational purposes only. It's not intended to substitute for the diagnosis, treatment, or the advice of a qualified licensed medical veterinarian professional. The facts presented are offered as information only, not medical advice, and in no way should anyone infer that we are practicing medicine. So seek the advice of a medical professional for proper application of this material to any specific situation. I want to remind all of you, I'm not sure how you're listening or viewing us today. You can see us and view us uh, in so many ways. We have Dash app, iHeart, Rap, Rap app, as well as Spoonie.com, or you can live stream through Facebook, YouTube, and Periscope. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We really want to hear from you. Engage with us. Uh, you can call us today at 202 900 3990 if you have any questions. Um, and again, today we're going to be talking about food, spices, oils, and the canine company for your BFF. And before we get on to today's topic, I want to introduce two really uh, special in-studio guests here, very talented, very smart uh, business owners. To my immediate left is Julie Gordon, and second left would be Bryn Ewing. So uh, welcome back, Bryn. Thank welcome. You. Hi. Absolutely. So let me introduce you to Julie Gordon here. So she's a wife and a mother of three children. So her daughter just graduated, I believe, the University of Chicago, and she has two twin fraternal boys. So she's the designer and founder of the Canine Company. And if you're not viewing this, I'm showing you the Canine Company right in front of us. You can't miss it. And so prior to the coneless and cute canine comfy, Julie has spent her time beautifying other people's homes as the owner and designer of botanical designs. She enjoys spending her time with her family, friends, and Oreo, who is the mascot of her business. Mm -hmm. And she works true. out at Midtown Athletic Club. So again, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then let me introduce, uh, welcome back, uh, Bryn Ewing. She's been here before. She is our expert on essential oils. So it was essential to have her today for this topic. She <laughs> is the loving wife and mother of two rambunctious boys and one baby boss girl. She's a doTERRA wellness and advocate founder and CEO of Illuminate and Shine, a doctor on call at her home, and she's always been attracted to the service industry as a mixologist and flight attendant, but has now found her true passion in servitude in others in healing with natural approaches to healthcare. So she's going to educate you, provide you with valuable resources today for those of you who are ready to take on the responsibility and empowerment to live their most vibrant life and today we're talking about your dogs and possibly even your cat's most vibrant life so i'm really excited today thank you again <laughs> thank um, you for having me yeah, yeah. i thought this would be a great topic because so many people have pets and they are a huge part of our family and so we're going to take about talk about what i do naturally and how we can apply it to your dog possibly uh, a cat um, we're going to start with Julie Gordon and what she's uh, so good at. But before I do that, I just want to throw a little statistics, uh, a little bit information out there. So we're talking about your dog, basically, your, your, your uh, best friend. So I don't know if you're aware of this. A lot of things that we're going to talk about today correlate with humans as well. So we know with humans, about 40% of the population are either overweight or obese. Guess what the stats are for dogs? The same. Yeah. You think the same? Mm -hmm. Well, it's sixty percent of dogs are either overweight or wow. obese. Oh, I didn't realize wow. that. Yeah, not surprising though. No. One out of three dogs and cats are overweight Too or obese. Too Too exactly. <laughs> you got it. No walking. Uh, there you go. Some they're from overeating and lack of exercise. Yeah. 
So another problem that our um, wonderful best friends have, for four-legged friends, um, is osteoarthritis. So that's the growing population of pets are developing osteoarthritis. So this is a form of inflammation and that's damage to the joint tissue. So we as humans get that as well and so do our pets. Um, the other thing I wanna talk about, I think it's apropos for our discussion, is skin allergies. So it's usually a hidden irritant for our dogs. Uh, it can be a, a skin issue as well as an allergy. Um, it could be other conditions due to bacterial or fungal condition. It can also be caused by um, what your child, uh, child, your dog is the eating, child. right? They do seem like our other child, right? It's a fur right. baby. Yeah. Right, a fur baby. Um, and so these are definitely some of the top issues that our dogs are facing. The allergies can come from our f uh, fleas, food, or environmental toxins, which we're gonna get into today. So, okay, that just kind of lays a little bit of the groundwork of where right. we're gonna we're we're gonna headed today and kind of uh, come full circle. So, to start out the program today, let's actually talk about the Canine Company. And like I said, for those who are viewing live stream, you can see right in front of us um, the display for the Canine Company. So, why don't you talk to us, Julie, a little bit about what is the Canine Company? Well, as you can see, it's a full body dog suit. It's made out of lightweight athletic wear fabric, and it's something that you would work out in, really comfortable. Th what's great about the fabric, as well as it being lightweight, is that it is easy to wash. It's also moisture wicking. The dogs don't sweat in it. You know, a lot of people say, oh my God, it's summertime, I don't want my dog in this bodysuit. My dog actually had to wear it last summer for 10 days in the heat, and she was even, you know how dogs like to inside while they're in the air conditioning, of course. Um, sun themselves by the door. It was 90 degrees. She was laying out in the sun in the house. and So they. it's a great fabric um, for that reason. But it's also, it doesn't shrink when you wash That's it. Nice. And because it's moisture wicking, it's also being worn as outerwear. So it keeps the dogs dry in the snow and the rain. What I wanted to do, and I'll go back to how I came up with this, is I wanted to create one product that was multifunctional. So it started out where I just wanted a product that was for dogs um, as an alternative to that awful cone of shame that you have right there. There you go. So those <laughs> of you who are uh, watching a live stream, so that's that cumbersome cone that anybody has a dog or cat and is well aware of, and it's not only pain for our animal, but for us as well. <laughs> right. It was, you know, it started out where, and I've been working on this for many years, my dog had surgery, and she's had, had three surgeries by the age of six. But with her first surgery, she came home with that cone, and like Gwen said, I have twin boys. My first night home with them was a really long night, but it was a worse night with her. She did not sleep. She did not eat. She cried. She was bumping into oh. walls with the cone. Um, I don't sew, but I woke up the next morning. We went to the Carter's Outlet, and I got her because she's small enough, um, a one-piece onesie. I cut it. I pinned it, and then I went to the vet, and I said, I need to show you something. Is this Okay. And he said, that's great. It's perfect. Um, and I said, why isn't there anything out there? I've, I've been looking and looking. And he's like, I don't know. It's, it, but this is okay. And that's where I started, started the whole process, um, wow. which was a, a long process considering I don't sew and getting the right fabric and the right pattern. And as time evolved, the product evolved. So um, like I said, it started out as just an alternative to the cone. And once I had put it on her, it was amazing. And I found this over time, testing it out. She, with the cone, was trying to reach back at her incision. It was itchy. The ear is, is you know, it's wide open to the ear. And it often is itchy for the dogs. But having a soft, breathable, and it has to be breathable, um, fabric was comforting. Also out of sight, out of mind. So she wasn't trying to get at it. Um, and then we went on where, okay, she had another surgery in a different spot. And I thought, I want to have one product where it covers 90% of the dog's body, so you never know where there could be an issue. Um, and what's great about the fabric, and I got this from my daughter's dance recital idea, is I wanted it a fabric where you could cut it down, like if the sleeves, because dogs have all different length legs. Wanted to be able to cut down the sleeves if needed, if it's too long, and, and then it would still work. And I remember for her dance recital, pants were too long, and the teacher said, you just cut them, no no sewing, and you're fine. So that's the same with my product. Awesome. Um, cut it down, and I've got what 
what I have is called a potty flap. So for dogs that are being neutered, spayed, or any itching and licking, like you said, it's tons of allergies, especially right now. Dogs are itching, licking in all different spots. I've got what I call a potty flap. And so you just undo the Velcro underneath. It opens up. They can go do their business, so you don't need to take the, the outfit off. Um, and then I've got, right now I've got seven sizes, so it fits dogs from three pounds to 100 pounds. Jeez. They have Velcro fasteners, so that really uh, allows for different girths. So, so, so for so those dogs that weren't walking, like you said, and are right. overweight, so it allows for that. Um, and I'm also making them custom made. So in case there's a dog, I made one for a 150 pound Jeez. dog. Wow. Um, and so it's it's been really great. I mean, especially even though there are different cones out there, they keep coming out with like a donut or this and that. I mean, it's really, if you think about it, like it's still cumbersome for the dogs to be right. wearing something around their necks. They already don't feel good for whatever issue they're having. And then you put this around them. I mean, here, you know, the dogs, you know, there are some that definitely take maybe a little while to get used to it, you know, if they haven't worn clothing. But overall, I'm finding that people are coming back to me saying, wow, my dog is sleeping better. Uh, my dog is the puppy is actually getting potty trained better. And so what I also ended up doing was making this for anxiety. So with the fasteners, I made it where you can make it tight enough because a lot of dogs do have anxiety, whether it's from the thunder and lightning, these thunderstorms, um, a lot of them just getting in the car, going to the vet, um, or just leaving them alone. Right. So this is really, like, comforting um, dogs, oh, we've so got a, a thunder little buddy too. Thunder buddy, yeah. <laughs> oh, we have a little guest to so show yeah, you. Yeah, let's show you uh, those who are actually watching live stream. Um, actually, maybe here, here. Let's take that off for now. We're actually introducing to Bruin. That is our new dog. Um, Julie was kind enough to actually make us one for Bruin. Bruin's um, like four months old. He's and you're going to actually yeah. see there's a logo, so she can put logos, your logo, yeah. on the Canine Comfy. Um, so he's been walking around in it for the last few minutes, uh, <laughs> and he's totally fine. Hasn't changed his behavior, what, whatever. He doesn't really seem to care. So uh, it's an awesome <laughs> thing. I have one from – I. this is our fifth dog. So I have a Canine Comfy for uh, my older dog. So uh, we're prepared for when we need that because I know this the, the cone, we hate it. I mean, it's hard for the dogs. They hit the walls. They right. can't go up the stairs. Like you said, they can't sleep. It just, it's so difficult. And so the canine company is so much better for dogs instead of the cumbersome cone. So Yeah, and I what was great is I this, this one veterinarian, she just bought it for her dog to be neutered. And she's very conservative. She kept saying, well, I've got to make sure the cone and the comfy are is you know, both are on my dogs. Well, she came back to me and she said, I got to tell you, the dog, no matter what cone I put on him, he kept, he was able to reach. Oh, at, still get, oh. Yeah, she said, I should, I'm so surprised because the vets are, that's just standard where the vets always say the cone works. But um, she even confirmed it doesn't always work. They don't always fit right. And somehow the dogs are really smart. So, um, so I've really I've got the Velcro in all the right places so the dogs cannot reach at it to get it off, and yeah I'm really excited. It's been really fun. Another another, it's it's funny because people keep coming back to me saying, "Do you know what I use this for?" Like and I keep coming up with every time I have, I'll show you the packaging. Every time I've got my packaging made, um it's it's now being currently sold at Pasquazies and Chalet, and they've got fabulous pet departments. So I've got trying to grow we into even more stores places. but um every time i get the packaging done i come up with one more use whereas some dogs do markings or they'll especially the male dogs oh right and they'll go inside the house it's so annoying and they'll pee and so i've had a few people say oh i've used it for that and it works so keep coming mm -hmm. up with new ideas of how you can use it so it's been really fun exciting i've got it it's in long sleeves i'm also now selling it in short sleeves um, and Wonderful. I, yeah. And now what I've done is I've expanded, and what I have is a vest as well. And again, everything is. I'm trying to make all the products multifunctional and really intended for medical purposes, but cute, of course, as well. Right. Um, and okay. this is the vest. Okay. And it's like a thunder, thunder vest, thunder shirt for anxiety as well, just like the comfy is, but um, obviously less coverage. 
Um, and what's also great about it is because of the water resistant fabric, it can be worn like in the rain. Um, and there's a slit for, you know, the walking your dog if you want to put the harness on oh, and nice. go through there with mm -hmm. the leash. Oh, um, and so we've got that. And like I said, we've got, we're big Illinois fans. Yeah, there you go. So we've got some cute <laughs> customizing going on there. The hot product, the hot new product this year was the booties. As you know, we had a horrible winter. Yeah. So it was a good time to test it out. Um, and these, the advantage. Oh, those are cute. They're yeah. cute. <laughs> the advantage of these booties over other booties were that it's really easy to get on. So that was like the number one complaint a lot of people said was, oh, it's you know. Oh, so difficult. So difficult. So you just slip them on like a sack. And they're comf comfy for the dog. Yeah. Because they really, are, they move with the dogs. Mm -hmm. Um and then when what keeps them on is like we've got two two sets of velcro pieces. So you pinch them in the back, the velcro, and then you put the strap around them. So the combination of both velcro fasteners really helps keep them on. And then we've got some traction at the bottom, That's nice. fleece lined if you prefer. And then we're also selling them. A lot of people are buying them for medical purposes for the itching, yeah. licking issues. Um, so it's breathable fabric without the fleece in it. And so. This is my latest. I've got a couple other products coming out. Wow. Um, I've been, when I created the product, it was with the help of a few local veterinarians. I wanted to make sure that I was working on something that was really, there was a need for it and that the vets were on board. Um, so since then, I've had many vets come back to me with a couple of other ideas. And, and if anybody has wow. any, I've had other people actually contact me from like Facebook saying, I've got this issue, can you make it? Um, so I'm really, really excited to be able to help out dogs in any way. And yeah. if anyone does have anything that they need, you know, I'd be love to see if I can entertain an idea and make it. But the next two products coming out are for Happy Tail, it's called, which I didn't know what that was at first. But many dogs, especially big dogs, have issues on their tails. And then they hit the tail against furniture. Yeah. Um, so that has been a need that a few veterinarians had made me aware of. Um, and then also, right now, I can attach the booties to a comfy. If if you have a medical problem, you really need to make sure the dog cannot get it off. Because dogs have a lot of time oh, on their yeah. hands. You know, <laughs> you're going to leave them alone with a booty. Even though it's got all the Velcro fasteners, there's a good chance they're going to take it off. Um, so I am able right now with, a, you know, just if you custom order it, it can attach with Velcro to the comfy. But I'm also now working on a sleeve with a booty. Oh, wow. So just one one arm, one leg, one paw at a time covered. Um, and then any other ideas? Real. So it's been it's been really fun, really rewarding helping the dogs and, and dog owners. That is. That's so awesome to see how you've taken your story from Oreo be having surgeries from one uh, canine comfy and how now you've grown to other items and it's just helping everybody who are dog owners. I mean, that's what it's all about. You're feeling that need, filling yes, that void. I love it. Very it's, good. It's, Thank it's you. So one other thing mm -hmm. I want to mention, and you can talk about it, I'm always a supporter of uh, products made here in the USA. Yes, thank you. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? I know Julie and her story. I know specifically for creating the Gwen Marie collection that it is very difficult to be right. competitive and have your product made in the United States. But finding someone to actually make your product can be very um very difficult. So I, do you want to tell and talk to us know. a little bit about that? Sure. Well, like I said, I don't sew. So that was really a You do a little bit now. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Somebody showed me how to use a sewing machine, but <laughs> I'm not good. Um, <laughs> so it was, it was a challenge to find, you know, I needed a pattern maker. I needed someone to sew. I needed the right fabric. I went to shows. I just really tried to network with as many people as possible. And it's still a work in process. Um, and, yeah, it, it is difficult to manufacture in the United States and stay real competitive with pricing because you definitely can go abroad and get it cheaper. Um, but, you know, it really feels good being here in the United States. The fabric is from California, and I've got it being manufactured here in Chicago, pattern makers here in Ch 